What's up, nerdlings? What's up, nerdlings? Wow, what a difference. It's Rotten Rentals. Do you nerd? Do you nerd? We all nerd, do we not? <laughs> you know, for many of us, movies don't get much more nostalgic than when it comes to the VCR and VHS. Whether you're pulling that little rectangular tape out of that slip sleeve or popping open a clamshell, what is it? about putting that thing into a VCR and hearing that chunky kathonk, that audible, that tactile feedback of a tape that just <laughs> really takes you back in time. Even collectors are starting to grab VHS tapes all the time. And it's a little known fact that we collect just about everything, so Rotten Rentals reached out to us to see if we would be interested in something tied to VHS. Well, you get plenty of meat on that bone, I tell you. Okay, we have opened the box. Looks like on top, we have some we shirts. We some shirts. So we need to do this up right. So stay tuned for these special messages from a random polo. You use my polos whenever you want. Use this one. Nummy, nummy, nummy. Oh, look at the matching shirts. I love these shirts. Never forget VHS and it's all like horror written down here. That's pretty cool. These... And they have a good print on them. Doesn't feel like it's anything that's going to rub or crack or break off. But it really also kind of already looks a little vintagey. Yeah, I like so that's, that. I love that. It's a good fit too. Yeah, it's a nice uh, soft cotton too. Well, before we dive into what else is in this box, let's dive into what Rotten Rentals is exactly. Rotten Rentals rewinds your nostalgia to the days of VHS with fun mystery clamshells that feature classic movie covers or made-from-scratch inserts showcasing a retro vibe. It's not tapes in these cases, but rather vintage card packs from the 70s all the way up to the 2000s, plus movie promo items and even a mini zombie. You may get buttons, stickers, or more to feed your blockbuster memories. You do get to choose the covers, by the way. Each mystery box has a mix of things you may know or things to send you down a whole new film fandom journey. Big bubbles! I'll give you one. Ready? Oh my gosh. Oh. Ow! Wow! That was loud. <laughs> so the uh, build-up of air uh, went a bit kablooey. <laughs> Whoops. Nice. What look you, what you look at there? this. We got some, uh, some skull rings. Oh, check it out. One for each finger. Is it bad that I kind of want to watch you punch somebody's face and leave the skulls? Is imprint? it bad that I kind of want to as well? Oh, good. We're both terrible I'm gonna, people. <laughs> I'm going to sock a room and leave my mark. <laughs> so, oh my gosh, we're both terrible, but I great. I love this is it. Kinda funny. <laughs> well, since since they actually don't go all the way up my fingers, I guess the best thing I can do is backhand. So in this, you know, I'm going to go back. Hit you with my ring hand. <laughs> so that's kind of fun. I think that was just a little something extra he threw in. Let's get into what. Something, something. Let's get into what he really wanted to send us. Oh <laughs> yeah, I'm already loving the first one. As Lady Lacey said, you do get to choose your covers. So what I did was I actually went for some covers that I don't think <laughs> have VHS covers. Uh, Trick or Treat was the one that kind of eluded me. I was like, yeah. maybe it does, maybe it didn't but have I a VHS But I might be a bit release. of a fan. Take a look at this Trick or Treat one. That is first great. Of all. I love little Sam. I, I love it. mean, it's so good, the insert. You've got like the spine exactly how you would have seen it in an actual VHS clamshell. Honestly, this really reminds me of being at Blockbuster when they would make a copy of the movie or cut the movie down and put it in their own Blockbuster clamshell. Let's see what's in it. Oh, it's got a finger. <laughs> or is it a thumb? Well, I see there's something in here for Dragon. Oh, yeah, would look, love. Dragon would love it. A little <laughs> blood covered roach. Ah, kill it! Kill it! Wake up, sleepyhead. 
Oh, we've got some Pukemon cards. Now, we've come across these before. I think our kiddo at one point yes. got a pack of yeah, them. Yeah, she and thought they were pretty funny. She loved Pokemon stuff, so the whole gross-out factor, it was, uh, it was too much fun to go over with. Look, there's a Widow Sham sticker. <laughs> we got a uh, Ghostbuster trading card here. As you well think we as... could trade this with the Ghostbusters of Missouri? I, I bet we could, actually. As well as an Amazons of Troy. This is uh, featuring the wonderful Boris of Vallejo artwork. Wow, that's pretty cool. Oh, you got a pack of oh, Dick, Dick Tracy. Tracy. Fortunately, as we open this pack, it is nice to see that they are all movie cards and a sticker. Oh, no, no gum. gum in there. No hashtag eat the gum. And then this is interesting. So, Blueprints of the Future, Prophetic Visions from the Art that's of Vincent fun. Defeat. I actually love finding old books that are predicting what it's going to be like in 10, 20 years. And they're being like, you guys were way off. <laughs> Box number two of three. This one was a little more for me. Ash versus Evil Dead. Nice. So they had one for season one and season two. I really loved how season two was looking. The mashup of all of the characters That's on the front great. is so good. I love it. Now on VHS. And right underneath that, look at these fun little like add-on stickers. Oh, I remember that. And then like the horror sticker section. And even the torn oh my label gosh. at that the bottom. That is some really, that's really good attention to detail where it's creased down here and everything. And then 50 cent charge for, was that not rewinding? Another, remember when we first got DVDs and we're like, how do we rewind this? I used the DVD rewinder, <laughs> right Tom? The DVD rewinder. It's so easy to use and it's so echo friendly too. Insert it right here till you hear a click. Close it. Press rewind. Ah, uh, you hear that? That is the sound of gratification. Again, I went with stuff that didn't have a VHS cover from back in the day. I'm not touching that. Oh, uh, she doesn't like the little spider in no. there. But there's a tiny little zombie, that's cool. I like zombies. And you've if, got an eraser. I don't know if it goes in the dark or not. I wonder if this is one that actually erases or like the fun novelty oh, erasers of our youth that just tore up your paper and well, smeared just, everything. Yeah, just smeared brown everywhere. And then these so I can bite your neck later. Yes. <laughs> we got another Ghostbuster card to try to oh, trade with nice. the Ghostbusters of the Ozarks. Oh, nice. So it's kind of in the vein of Garbage Pail Garbage Kids, Pail Kids, but it's troll based. Nice, that's funny. So trash can trolls. Leave a comment down below if you are familiar with trash I've can never trolls. Heard of that. No, but uh, it seems like something that some of our community friends yeah, would be well fun. aware of. And then we have uh, Friends Don't Lie, a little uh, Stranger Things sticker. Nicely done. Neat. You knew it. So we have uh, some DC Cosmic Teams trading cards. I love comic book trading cards. I collected them before I ever got into comic books, so. But you were more of a Marvel collector uh, correct. than the DC ones. But the cards, they were totally my gateway drug into collecting We always loved books. getting the hollow foil ones, or the lenticular ones, those were fun too. Now I'm not sure what this is, it just says the Creator's Universe. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of looking like horror more comic related? book, but yeah, definitely got a horror vibe. They're really nice quality cards, though. They are, and I love that little uh, holographic printing at yeah, the bottom. Yeah, those are neat. And we got some Denny's Hobbit cards. So <laughs> when Denny's had the, the Hobbit breakfasts, you got a little pack of cards whenever you ordered your breakfast, and we never got around to it because we didn't have a Denny's at the time. We did not. So now we've got the cards. That's sweet. That's I, awesome. I remember you were super I disappointed. I was mad because I wanted second breakfast and 11z's and I couldn't get any of it. No, well, I mean, you are the size of a hobbit, so it makes sense that you I were so. And I do love potatoes. See the hobbit, the desolation of Smaug. And the last one, I went with something very modern that I absolutely knew wouldn't have a VHS release. Final Girls. Oh, this is a good movie. If you guys have never checked this movie out, you definitely need to. This one was definitely a lot of fun. And the artwork on this cover, it's so perfect. Mm -hmm. It feels like this is something that you totally would have pulled off of the shelf. Oh, yeah, I love that. And oh, especially the back. Look how great That's that perfect. is. That is fun. Let's see what's inside. We got a... A nail finger, so that <laughs> we got you a finger and me a finger. Except it's a little hairy. Stop giving me the finger. <laughs> Another Ghostbusters. Oh, we got a Buffy trading card. Oh, let us know if you were some Buffy fans. 
The Phantom, nice. You know, you don't see a whole lot of love for The Phantom. I mean, of course, it was a, a much older comic, but does anyone remember the live action movie? I don't really care if it was bad. It had Billy Zane in it. I think you liked Billy Zane in that tight suit, too. <laughs> Who wouldn't? All right, we got some Charlie and the Chocolate Factory mini movie cards. How fun is that? Now, am I going to turn into something terrible and the Oompa Loompas are going to have to roll me away? It just depends on how gluttonous you are, I guess. Here we have a Michael Schultz design button. So anyone who is a fan of pins, you've got something that you can add to your collection. And we got a little zombie chick holding a head. Who doesn't love that? I, I like that, actually. That's pretty good. <laughs> as tiny as that is, that looks pretty detailed. So this pack is Ron Miller's Firebrands, Heroines of Science Fiction and Fantasy, although it does say it is adult-oriented. It is definitely adult-oriented. And I'm adult afraid oriented. we're not going to get to show you as many of these. So We'd I have to put sorry. little stars on things. And then we've got some cards from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I'll let you look at these and I'll go grab my, ba my uh, bath towel. <laughs> That's probably a good <laughs> idea. So... From the mind of Douglas Adams. Uh, a fair enough movie, but the books, I really had a lot of fun going through the books, so having some trading cards yeah, for that. So, so long, so long, and thanks for all the fish. This was fun because what a clever idea to make mystery boxes out of VHS yes. clamshells. The stuff inside, you know, it's, it's great for anyone who's into card collecting or anything, especially like those vintage card mm -hmm. packs, seeing if you can go for a full set. The thing that's really winning me over, though, is I love the presentation of these clamshells. The artwork on these is fantastic. If I'm not mistaken, these are the standard clamshells. So these run about $10, but about $3 of that is just the clamshell and the artwork itself. If you are only interested in the clamshells, with the artwork, you can buy those separately. Going through the website, you can see that they have so many for you to choose from, and they are changing stuff up all the time. Just FYI, the timing now is perfect in that they plan on having horror Thanksgiving and holiday oh. covers through the end of the year. So are we getting ourselves a Thanksgiving? I knew that's the one <laughs> you'd be thinking of. Mm -hmm. You just got stopped. This was a lot of fun. Uh, we like mystery box stuff yes. anyway, so, you know, it's, it's really great to go through boxes. them. They're going to be great display pieces any time of the year because we don't have to wait for spooky season to put them <laughs> out. And we have one last thing. Rotten Rentals is working with us to offer a deal to you if you are interested. 15% off between now and the end of 2023 if you use this lovely code right here. That's right. Wow. Do you nerd 15? Do you nerd all caps? Look at that beautiful because code. Because you're shouting that you want to uh, Such check a pretty out code from Rotten Rentals. <laughs> we'll leave some comments down below. And, you know, honestly, just kind of looking at some of this stuff, I think it's movie time. I know there's I'm no tapes in here, pretty but... pretty sure, yeah, it's movie time, yeah. All right. We'll see you next time, nerdlings. Bye, nerdlings! <laughs>